What's up, guys? There's uh, two stories I want to talk about today. And um, there's one story, both involve um, police doing the absolutely wrong thing. And uh, I'm a big advocate on that because uh, they swatted me um, because I am a pro-American Christian white dude who uh, I called out Antifa and BLM and I, th I threatened them online. And um, they swatted me for it. And every every officer on the uh, SWAT line, bro, they they like they're just itching to uh, pull their weapon on somebody, and that's that's not how police should be. Is police should be de-escalate, de-escalate, and communicate. Um, instead, you got all these um, lunatic police officers, and I will debate any of you blue line matter folks. You, you, you blue line matter folks are so brainlessly illogical and dedi overly dedicated to this blue line lives matter shit that you can't even see bad police behavior. The same with you black lives matter people. These black lives matter people are so overly dedicated to their cause that they can't even call out black bad behavior. So, um, the first story was, um, they was doing this queer rally and uh they was doing a queer rally which I don't I don't like queers and uh they was doing a queer rally and somebody some 17 year old kid was just standing there on a megaphone reading bible passages through a megaphone bro these police officers went over to him and physically arrested him i'm thinking in my head man you can't be more of a punk than than these group of of police officers that did that bro uh the other story is uh that man the old the old man who threatened biden and uh the fbi raided his house now like i said this is this has happened to me and um bro they they almost killed me i mean they they don't even like they don't even give them no briefing they just tell them go in there and uh bring whoever's in there out and most most of the police on the line bro they don't they they just want to shoot something that's what i'm saying that's that's how overly aggressive policing has become um that being said, I will say that police don't racially target people as much anymore. It's it's uh, more about tattoos and like gangs and stuff. It's more about gangs than it is about, you know, racially targeting somebody. But uh, e even even saying that, bro, um, and they they will tell you at the uh, police training centers, they will tell you to to uh, show yourself as dominating physical. And uh, that that's just it just it can't be more wrong. Um, what you, what you should do as a police is show yourself respectful and communicative. Okay, if you show yourself respectful and communicative, and and you're standing there, and and you know you're you're good, and that's why they have to screen a lot of people because a lot of these people ain't good. A lot of these people ain't good. Like um. So yeah, if you if you show communic communicative, and you show um, what was the other word I used? I forgot. Um, communicative and respectful, people are gonna know that you know, people are gonna see it, and a lot of times your job is about communication and de-escalate, bro. And and dude, I see I see another video. It was a while back. It was actually an officer who switched who switched his handgun and taser because he, he kept his he kept his handgun on his strong arm and uh he had his taser on his on his weak arm and um he made the video and he made the point hey and he and this this was only this was like a couple of the police officers that i actually like he said um guys our job is 95 percent communications so what he did he took the pistol off his strong arm and he put the taser on his strong arm because in other words, he's saying that most most of his his job is is not about anything but communications. So he didn't want to, you know, pull his pull his service arm. And then and then you got a whole bunch of cops saying, "Oh, we're all in danger. It's a safety thing, bro." Y'all y'all are petty, bro. Y'all are petty. And and then they wonder why people look at them like punks. Um I'm all about the rule of law, guys. I'm all about it. But uh, 
you you get these cops, man, and you'd be like, how are you not screened properly, bro? Get the fuck out of my face. And, um, yeah, that's those are the two topics I want to make. Uh, oh, yeah, no-knock raids should ab absolutely be illegal, bro. Absolutely be illegal, bro. Because uh, I've seen YouTube videos where they get the wrong house. Um, I always watch the auditing videos. There's like five new auditing videos a day of police just being petty, douchebag, uh, bully, dominant type, aggressive type idiots out here. And then you got like blue line supporters that can't see it. They can't see it because they're so over dedicated to them. I'm not saying I'm not saying we shouldn't have police either. I'm just trying to say that um, you motherfuckers need retrained, bro. Uh, I I don't think defunded at all. I think retrained. Um, obviously, when the left says they want y'all defunded, that's because they want to be able to be all woke. But uh, y'all do need retrained for real. Y'all definitely need retrained. And then and then I made a comment on um, legally armed America's video, and uh, he deleted my comment immediately. And. Uh, it's it i'm telling you guys it is true most cops they think this is call of duty out here bro chill out bro chill out bro your job is to show respect and be communicative man chill out bro damn bro you got these cops out here like itching itching for an altercation bro you got these cops itching I'm telling you bro it's it's gross um, is there any other news stories this week? I'm trying to think. Other than the fact that, um, you know, on January 6th, these cops was trying to entrap people, which just shows the type of, of people that police are. But, um, yeah, last topic, um, the qualified immunity garbage, bro. Um, they act, they want to act like qualified immunity is basically we think our police officers are more important than civilians. So in other words, if a civilian make a mistake, um, they will be charged to the maximum for it. If a officer make a mistake, they will be letting off the hook for it. Um, there should be none of that qualified immunity. It may discourage a lot of y'all. I don't care, bro. There, there should be no special treatment, bro. Like, um. I'm trying to I'm trying to think of a news story um where they did that. Like I think uh, an officer had an accidental discharge and wound up killing somebody and she didn't I, I think she just got let off the hook completely for qualified immunity. It's just like motherfucker, I could like uh I could be parked on the side of the street and open my door into a cyclist and just injure them not even not even hurt them too badly and i'll i'll be fucking in jail like why why is it like that a cop can get away with qualified immunity bro it's it's crazy um yeah qualified immunity is is absolutely reckless i i don't i don't like police guys i'm like the only maga and uh I'm like the only maggot that don't like police, bro. Bad police. I, I don't like bad police. So. Bro, they will enforce. They will enforce corrupt shit. They will, they will enforce corrupt shit, bro. And claim that they was just trying to get a paycheck. Um. Me on the other hand, when I when I went out to be, when I went out to be it, I passed the PT, I passed the screening test, and then uh, I'm logical enough that if I get a like a bad order, I'll just quit, or like I'm logical enough to be like, oh, I'm violating this person's rights. Um, I'm violating somebody's rights. Um, for a paycheck, even though I'm being given this order. I'm violating somebody's rights. I'm not going to do it. Like, and, and, um, swear to God, um, the reason they haze you at these, like, shits 
It's because they just want you to comply. They just want you to comply. So they haze everybody that goes in there. Um, you'll see some of that in the military. Military military boys, I actually like. I like the military boys. Um, I don't mind them. I don't. I don't mind them. Um, I actually like them. I just don't like cops, bro. Cops, they think it's they think it's military GI Joe shit every day, bro. They think this. They think civilian county that they're in is a war zone, bro. For real. Um. Don't even get me started on the January sixth. That shit pisses me off so much, and um, they entrapped they entrapped everybody in there, and uh, they want to act like um, they want to act like Black Lives Matter looting and rioting uh, is okay, but then going to peacefully protest an election isn't, and uh, it's just everybody who went into to the uh, thing that day. What what is it called? The Capitol building or whatever. They was peaceful. They was peaceful, bro. And uh the cops tried to entrap them and uh it's 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 insane, bro. It's insane. Paycheck and violate someone's rights or respect the constitution. It's that simple. It's that simple. It really is. And half half these Dumbass cops don't understand that. All right, I'll catch up.